Hello again. YouTube offers teachers a way to share study materials online. For this, teachers have to start or create a YouTube channel and upload videos. So let me, Dr. Sunanda Roy, help you in creating a YouTube channel and also uploading videos. Hope you have seen my video on creating a video using Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Do watch the video in case you haven't. The link is given in the description box and will also appear in the end screen. The video is about how a PowerPoint presentation is recorded with the narration done by the teacher and converted into a video ready to be uploaded on YouTube. So, let's launch a YouTube channel. The first thing to do is to open YouTube and sign in using your Google account or Gmail details. If you are using an Android mobile phone, you will have a Gmail account. If not, you can always create a new Gmail account. It's like creating any new email account. Once the account is created, go to YouTube. You will find a sign in. Click on that button which is there on the top right hand corner. When you click on it, you will get a drop down box. Here you have to click on create a channel. Next you have to decide a name for your channel. You could put your own name or a different catchy name representing your content. Click on the create button and you're good to go. Once the channel has been created, you have to enter the description of your channel under channel description. Next, you go back to your channel and click on settings from the drop down box. Here, you click on channel status and features. This is done. To verify your channel. You click on verify. In doing so, you will be able to enjoy some special features for free. For example, you will become eligible to upload longer videos. That is, you can upload videos longer than 15 minutes. This will take you to an easy two-step verification process. You select your country. A verification code will be sent. You have to choose how it will be delivered, either through an automated voice message or through a text message. Next, you have to enter your phone number. Step 2 consists of entering the delivered verification code, which is a six-digit code. Click on Submit. With this, your account is verified. You will be able to see your channel. This is my YouTube channel. You can brand your channel by using Customize Channel. You can change the banner of your channel, play around with the options, and you can make your channel attractive. It's really great fun. Now let's see how to upload a video. It's really very simple. Click on the video camera with the plus icon and click on upload video. To upload the video, you can drag and drop the video file or you can click on select file. A window will open and you have to select the file stored in your folder in the, your computer. For example, here the video is stored in downloads folder. Click on Open. Now we need to enter the details of the video. So enter the title and a short description of the video. Select the thumbnail. This is what will be visible to the viewers while selecting videos. So make sure that the thumbnail is attractive. In the beginning, a thumbnail will be selected by YouTube by default. But you can save an image on your, of your choice on Google Drive and upload it as a thumbnail. Once the thumbnail is selected, then you can see it on the right. 
with the link of the video which is below it. Copy the link so that you can share it via email. However, you still have to publish the video on YouTube. Next, you select the type of audience. If it is for kids, then you select the first option. If it is for adults, then select the second option. Then you click on more options. There you will find paid promotion. Please click on learn more for further details regarding promotions used in your video. I will be only discussing about uploading your videos, but you can read about it and you can select regarding the paid promotions. I would like to concentrate on the next option and that is tags. This is useful if some terms which you have used in your videos are commonly misspelled. All you have to do is enter the words and put a comma to enter the next word. The other options are related to language, subtitles and closed captions. If you are using these in your video, you will have to enter the details. Once you are done entering the key details, then click on next and you are done with the details. The second step deals with video elements. Choosing these options, you can add an end screen which may consist of links to your other videos or related content at the end of the current video. If you want to promote other material during your current video, you can choose add cards. That finishes off with the video elements. Click on next. Next we go to visibility. Here you can choose if you want your video to be public, unlisted or private. If you want to propagate or publicize your channel, then choose public option. This means that everybody can see your videos. What is interesting is that you can also schedule your videos. All you need to do is select the date and time you want to publish your video and select schedule. If you don't want to schedule, you will get the publish button. Just click on it and your video will be published. You will be able to see your channel with your video. This is my channel with the videos that I have been uploading. It may take some time while uploading your first video. But trust me, as you keep uploading videos, the process feels very simple and user friendly. These are the references I used for making this video. You can watch these videos for further information. The links have been given in the description box of the video. Also, please remember to watch my video on creating a video using Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. You can make your videos and upload them on your YouTube channel. Enjoy preparing the videos and connecting up with your students online. It's a great way to use blended learning. I hope you liked the video and will launch your very own YouTube channel soon. Thank you for watching.